Hey everyone, Jeremy Senpai here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on my video, and if you like what you hear, feel free to hit like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Alright, on with the show. As always, keep calm, and put your headphones on. Hey, convict. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. The warden wants to have a word with you. Over what? Huh. Sorry, didn't ask. Now, are you coming out, or am I going to have to go in and bring you out? That's more like it. Hey, the rest of you stay back. Only warning you're getting. Now let's move, convict. You know that you're in a lot of trouble. Don't you dare run ahead of me. And don't give me any lip, either. Alright, this room. You heard me. Get in there! <sighs> Alright. Door's locked. Just you and me now. Are you okay? Well, are you alright? Have you been mistreated? Have, are you hurt? Why should I care? Why wouldn't I care? You don't recognize me, do you? Yeah, I guess it's this stupid uniform. Well, let's see if this jogs your memory. <coughs> Ow! Ah. Yeah, I probably had that coming. <laughs> Your punches hurt the worst. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Well, let's see. I'm in this prison. I'm here dressed as a guard. Could it be I took up a new job. Or is it more likely I'm here to bust you out? Yeah. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Oh, you want to know how? Well, as it turns out, one of the guards likes to come to my coffee shop whenever he's done with his graveyard shift. And I happen to misplace some of the spoiled milk in his latte. So, he's not going to be coming in until probably Wednesday. And what a shame. He left in such a rush that he forgot his uniform and his gear. So I decided to keep an eye on it. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about. They don't even know I'm here. Plus, I look like the guy, so... <laughs> Who's the wiser, am I right? Well, yeah, I know it's dangerous, but it's more dangerous for you. I mean, you got framed and thrown in here, and you know that they're not going to give you a retrial. As far as they're concerned, you are guilty six ways from Sunday. Well, well, it's been a couple of months since you were thrown in here and are seeing you a couple times a week during visiting hours. It didn't sit well with me. It really, really didn't. I mean, you kept telling me how scared you were, how people were messing with you, how you had nobody, and th that, that made me afraid. So I decided I would try to bust you out. Hmm? Uh, yeah, it's dangerous, but it's more dangerous for somebody who's in here on false charges. Well, yeah, you can get out of here. I mean, come on. I told all of our friends about it, and they want to help. We've got hair dye. We've got makeup. We, we, <laughs> we've even got people good at making documents. You will be long gone and you can be anybody else. Yeah, I know this whole thing is insane, but so is getting framed for something because of your stupid coworker just because they were jealous of you. That's not fair. I mean, you did so well. You 
made more money for our company than anyone else, and because they are lazy and jealous, they decide to frame you. <laughs> well, don't you worry. Oh, we've got plans for them. Don't you worry. But for now, the important part is getting you out of here. Hmm? Well, yeah, I've already got it planned out. We're gonna pull an old-fashioned heist movie and sneak you out in the laundry truck. It's already parked, and two of our friends have already commandeered it. Hmm? Look, you've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, the guards are going to do their bed checks, but it's not going to matter. By the time they do in a couple of hours, you will be long gone and back at our hideout. Yes, the hideout is just a hotel room. Hmm? Don't, don't you worry. As you can see, we already took care of the security camera for this room. And plus, and plus one of our friends is really good at hacking and stuff, and he's already playing old footage down, down the hallways that will lead to the garage. You've got nothing to worry about. The other guards? <laughs> oh, please. They're not here. They're all too busy attending the warden's birthday party, and we basically only have a couple of guys on duty. Oh yes, oh yes, I am very, very good at playing things out. That's one of the things that you love about me so very, very much. And that's one of the things I love about you. <laughs> okay, okay. You and I can catch up as much as we want as soon as we get out of here. Oh, you want to resume this as soon as we get back to the hotel? Okay, I guess you can keep your uniform and I can keep mine for mm, a few more minutes. Alright, now we've got to get moving or they're going to get suspicious. So come on, convict. Your chariot to freedom awaits. Remember, you're a prisoner, so try to act the part a bit. Yeah, yeah, I've heard all before, you're all innocent till proven guilty. But then again, you're here, so you're automatically guilty. Now move your ass! Hmm? Oh, hey, Johnson. <sighs> yeah, well, the warden wants to see this one. Yeah, I know it's his birthday, but I'm just doing what he wants. Maybe he wants some extra entertainment, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I hear you, brother. <laughs> and we're the lucky ones, all right. This little number is all ours. <laughs> Don't get too pissy about it, Johnson. You'll get yours, maybe. <laughs> now move it, convict. All right. Eh, don't worry, Johnson's an idiot. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, garage, almost there, in the car, ah, 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 ah. and we are home free. <laughs> you guys are great, you really are, really came through for us. Well, yeah, we got, like, the best friends possible. Getaway drivers and hackers, it's actually amazing that we're not the ones in jail. Hey, uh, no, we're not gonna actually rob a bank. We did it for you because you're worth it. You're worth it more than all the millions in the world. All right, almost there. Oh. We're almost at the hotel. Oh, wait. Put this on. You're still wearing your prison jumper, so wear this coat over it. 
And I'll wear this one so nobody tracks me back. Okay, we're both covered. All right. Shall we? Hey, hello. I'm the one who made the reservations for tonight. Yeah, my name is Dallas. Thank you very much. Oh, we'll enjoy our stay, don't you worry. It's been a long, long time for the both of us. And just like that, we're both free. I mean, you're free, anyway. Hmm? Of course I did. I love you so much, and I know you're innocent. What happened to you was crap. And I'm never gonna let anyone throw you in there again. Of course, you're probably gonna have to make do with a new look. Hmm. Have I ever mentioned I have a thing for brunettes? <laughs> There's plenty of time for that later, but we say you and I make up for lost time. Sound good? <laughs>